what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh thank you to everybody that's returning um if you haven't already make sure you hit that like and subscribe button um we are out here doing a little solo hunt we got the spinner we got the motion ducks we got spoonzilla um when i walked in here um there was probably 25 30 mallards sitting in this pocket the whole rest of this whole little pond is frozen so i'm hoping they come back i'm gonna get hidden a little bit better because uh i think i'm still sticking out a little bit um and then hopefully we can get into some mallards today because i've never shot a drake mallard and hopefully we can do that today but uh stay tuned hopefully this is good make sure you hit that like and subscribe button let's see what happens Get up! Got the first one, baby. Woo! The skunk is off. Oh, thank God. Looks like a, a hen gadwall. Woo! I might have to move some of the decoys out a little bit. No bands on that puppy. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. My duck just came in over here. Say what you want. Look, my shell. I'm picking it up. Oh, this isn't too deep. Oh, Hello. Well, folks, uh, we finished with three birds today, uh, a redhead hen, a gadwall hen, and a spoonie hen. Um, we're going to get cleaned up. Uh, here's all the decoys. Here's Spoonzilla. Uh, I had another spinning wing over here, some more decoys, and I was hidden, like, right in there. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it was a good day. Um, uh, I wish those mallards had come in a little bit closer, but um, what can I do? Um, I'm hoping this spot will be be good uh, next couple months. Um, we're in December now. We got another month and some change left. Let's hope we can. Um, let's hope we can get on some more birds, and hopefully this hole will be a little bit better in the future. Um, we'll see. We'll get cleaned up, and then I'll talk to you guys back at the truck one eternity later all right guys so it's been a couple days um we're back here at the house in the kitchen um before we start cooking i just want to let you guys know um at a minimum i usually put my birds or the breasts whatever it is in a brine for 24 to 48 hours um for the first 24 hours i usually just do salt water um and then i, I rinse it out every six hours or so 
For the second day, I put it in a mixture of salt, um, sugar. I usually use stevia because you try to stay away from sugar as much as possible. Uh, bay leaves, thyme, peppercorns, and some garlic, and I let that sit in the water. Uh, take it out, get it washed off like I have it right here. And for this little recipe, what we're going to do is we're going to put the duck's all meat seasoning on it. Uh, we're going to do each side um, for this, this, the skin side on this, we're going to do four minutes. Um, we'll do four minutes on, on each side regardless. And then we'll put it in the oven at 350 for two minutes. It's going to be in a cast iron skillet. Um, and then we'll do a taste test. We got the spoonie, the gadwall with the skin, and the redhead is the biggest, bigger breast of, of the three. So we'll try it out. Uh, Sam should be here in a few minutes. He'll try it too. Um, and then once it's cooked, we're going to put the wild game seasoning on it um, and see how that tastes. So let's get this seasoned up. We'll put it in the skillet, get this started. You want to be generous with your with your seasoning obviously especially on the the skin side if you're leaving the skin on we're using sesame oil in the in the skillet you can use whatever you want i mean you can use butter you can use sesame oil you can use nothing i mean the fat on the duck itself generally will be enough for the oil but um, we only got one with skin on it so Let's, take, let's come over to the stove and get this going here in a second. We'll get our kitchen timer on. We're going to, what did I say, four minutes to start. Um, the more gamey flavor comes from overcooking. I mean, this, this with any wild game meat, if you overcook the meat, it's gonna be gamey. Um, if you don't season it and you don't take care of it, it's gonna be gamey. So brining it um, really takes away that flavor. And then, I mean, everybody in my household likes it. My kids like it, my wife likes it. Um, so that's just the best way that I've found to cook it. So we're gonna get these on here. I think that's Sammy right there. We'll start the four minutes. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Turn this off. Two minutes. Okay. Starting now. Yeah. We got it out of the oven. We're gonna cut this up. We'll do a little taste test for each one. Okay, that's the red hand. This is the gad wall. This one feels very nice. This one might be a little overcooked. Okay, get them all cut up. I'm gonna add this wild game seasoning to it. Take your first pick. Be a little hot. Oh, yeah. This is the redhead. That's really good. I mean, all it really tastes is seasoning. No, no gamey flavor. No. Yeah. Tastes like steak. Yeah, it tastes fine to me. That's the redhead. So we're gonna eat the, the, the spoonie. This one looks a little bit more a little bit. So good. Actually, that one is really tender. Yeah. Mm, that was really good. And uh, got it all with the skin on it. Put some more on there. Ooh, not bad. That's one. What's good? Mmm. I think the redhead's the best. Yeah. 
Try it. It's good. I think. Have you you never had dog heavy? Oh yeah, um, you ate some the other day. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't keep the skin on the redhead. I was told or I read online that that's where you get a lot of the fishy flavor from because it's a diver duck. You get it from the fat. So I took the fat off. But I think it's excellent. Uh, the spoonie was super tender. Um, I, I mean, I eat it anytime. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to see some more of the catching and cooking and cleaning and eating, uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you just pay attention. Um, we got more <laughs> videos. We're actually going on a guided hunt this week. So you guys will see that video here pretty soon. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you.